Hey guys, Salty here, and today's cast is going to be three parts. It's going to be three different ways to proxy your enemy. One is Terran, and two is going to be Protoss. So, and three is going to be Protoss as well. So you see here, I threw out my first SCV before my first was actually even created in my command center. So you set your workers on the mineral line. You make an SCV and then you immediately send one to the enemy's base because um, the amount of minerals you need for this is extremely small. So you run the SCV across the map. It depends on the map size. If it's a really short map, you don't even need to create that first SCV. But uh, anyway, here we go. So you go to his base, you put down a barracks, and you put down a supply depot. Uh, I'd say about a third third of the way through that barracks completion you should be putting down that first supply depot and then as soon as the barracks finishes you just pump marines and put down a bunker behind your opponent's mineral line now this is going to fail miserably if you get, ever get scouted with it but if he forgets to scout around the outside of his base it's it's really easy to get an advantage and you can even um you know tech out of this really easily if you get a reactor you can go into a factory and just drop the factory at your main and then continue like you're normally going. Then you can get a starport and then you're at a 111. If you don't know what a 111 is, I'm going to be doing a video of that as well. 111 means you get one barracks, then you get one factory, and then you get one starport. But this game is just good old fashioned cheesing. I put the barracks down, I put down a bunker, it's being made right now, and then I have marines on the way. And this whole time you want to be producing SCVs, obviously, from your command center. I even send out a second SCV so that I can make these buildings a little faster because I just have so many minerals at this point. So one marine on the playing field, he's going to be poking some probes, they're actually going to come around and try and kill him, but that bunker does finish in time, and then I just got to get my SCV out of there safely. And you see I'll put down my second supply depot actually at his base. What this is going to do is wall off that bunker on one side. So if you want to kill it, you're either going to have to run in between the barracks and the bunker, which is going to be, you know, you're going to be right in the line of fire for any spawning marines. Or you have to hit that bunker from the south, which means you're going to have to kill supply depots. And so you see that Protoss Zealot right there trying to kill his marines, but they're just too fast. And he's going to get in the bunker too, so now we have three marines in that bunker. And I'm just playing with my little SCV there, putting down another bunker. And not a whole lot he can do at this point. This is why you really need to scout on these games, especially in 1v1. You have to know what your opponent is doing. If you miss things like this, um, it's going to hit you hard. And obviously it does hit uh, this computer hard. This is the Behemoth AI. It's supposed to be a Diamond League level AI. It's not because unfortunately it has no idea what to do when you cheese or rush it. And there you see that second supply depot going down, so that's going to completely wall off that half of the bunker. Um, not that there's anything he can really do at this point. I will say the Behemoth AI is really cool for mid-game. If you have to practice your mid-game pushes, it's pretty decent because it will micro its zealots away and it'll drop force fields and even adapt its build to counter your units. So it's really cool in that sense. But if you're practicing cheese builds like this, it's not going to do too much. You'll probably be better off with, I don't know, maybe Yabot. So that's part one, and part two will be coming up in just a second.